Hi, welcome to the Pyramid Show. And today's show, I call it your show. It's a show because, you know, in the past week, I've always hinted you to drop your questions and the topics you would want us to attend to. And today we are tackling mortgage. Most of you, by the emails we receive, always talking about starting projects and never getting to finish, and also wanting to own a property, but yet you do not have the funds. So today we pay attention to mortgage. You are still live on Joy News. The show is the the Pyramid Show. The show returns shortly. Welcome back from the break. So my guest today in the studio with me, and she is Nelly Wendy Sapon. She is head specialized in lending, asset finance, and mortgage, uh, I mean specialist from Stanby Bank, and she joins us on the show. And like I said, by popular request and demand, most of you wanting to finish your project that you are stuck on financially, or for those who want to, you know, own a house yet not having the cash. We are going to learn all about what we need to understand so that we can own a house this year, and we are doing so this year. So my guest in the studio, Wendy, joins us on this subject. Wendy, thank you for making time to be part of the show. Thank you, my name. Yes. My first question is with mortgage. What is a mortgage? Mortgage sounds really a big word, but mortgage in a layman's language is simply taking um, a conventional loan towards the purchase of um, a property. So what it means is that with this kind of financing, we hold the property we are financing or the house we are financing as security. Yeah. Thank you so much. But uh, for, you know, uh, more understanding, I believe that elsewhere, that is in the Americas, the Europe, you find a lot of people, you know, once they conceive the idea, the thinking that they want a property, a building, an office space, the first action is, you know, to get a mortgage. But here in Ghana, the story is different. And why is that? It's, it's, it's true. And I, I, I can't say um, least of that because um, what's happening is mortgage, as I said earlier on, most people think when they hear mortgage, it sounds very big to them. They're understanding it's not there. Mortgage is very new in as much as most of the financial institutions, most of the banks in Ghana have started giving out mortgages. It's still new in Ghana. So people think mortgage, wow, mm -hmm. do I qualify? How do I qualify? Where do I go to? It is understanding around going through the process. They don't even know how to start. They don't know who to talk to. That's what makes it very difficult. But ideally, if, if you have a need for a home, mm. whether you want to use it for residential or um, commercial investment purposes, I advise you go for a mortgage. Maybe perhaps you have not saved much to buy or use your money to buy. It's very important and it's very easy to go for mortgage by talking to the right financial institution and you get help. And that means Stambik. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay. So is it always the case that, you know, you always have to secure a mortgage, even when probably you have the money in your means, you think you can go about, uh, you know, uh, sponsoring the project, no matter the magnitude? Tell you what, as a financial solutions advisor, when somebody comes to me, I have two million, I want to buy a house. I, I need to sit down with the person. I won't say because I offer mortgages or because I work with the mortgage unit of the bank, I should just advise the person to go in for mortgage. Mm -hmm. I need to understand the person in the entirety. So this person is a business owner. The person is struggling with the business. The person needs to pump in money into the business. The person has a, a, a need for a house. The person has a need for an office. The person is currently renting. The person's, whether you're renting for mm -hmm. either your home or your office space, I need to sit down with the individual and understand in entirety what the individual's need or needs are before I advise whether you should use the money to do a straight purchase or you should come in for a mortgage. So there are a lot of factors that goes into, do I opt to use my money that I currently have to buy the property for my house or for my office space, or I should go in and talk to a financial institution for a mortgage, yeah. Interesting submission there. Is it always the case that um, 
you know, like you said, you advise the applicants that come to you. Are there instances where you tell them, no, you're not ready for a mortgage, you don't need a mortgage? Since you, you were like, okay, you try to be as honest, you know, so much candor as possible. We, we, we try our best and for where we said or from where I said, mm -hmm. we, as I mentioned, we are financial solutions advisors. That's so when you come to the bank, we have relationship people, we have individuals, we have specialists. Their job is to advise clients. We are in to make business anyway, mm -hmm. but it is fair and we look at that in, in, in our business. We trade fairly in that when you come, we're not going to say we want to make money out of you so quickly we jump in and say okay you want a mortgage one two three four this is what you have to bring and we approve for you sometimes we advise them to use the money for something else whilst we do the mortgage or sometimes we advise that you use the money to buy a house so it's not all the time that we tell our customers that oh take the mortgage or we won't do the mortgage for you there are a lot of things but they sit we sit down with them to understand your situation we sit down with them to understand your ask and we tailor those solutions for them the good thing about stan big bank and i have to talk about stan big bank because from where i said i work with stan big bank I the agree. good thing about stan big bank is that we 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 have different products so in our basket, in our bouquet of products, we have different products we offer. If somebody comes in and the person says, I just want a loan, we need to understand what loan do you want? What do you want to use the loan for? Of what benefits will the loan be to you as an individual? And based on the answers we get, we tailor a specific solution for you. Yeah. Thank you. Earlier on, you spoke about, you know, people renting and in most cases, that's the story with the majority of Ghanaians. But mortgage, in other sense, is renting to own. And I believe that most people really do not catch this. They do not understand. Some are paying almost like 3000 4000 in a month for a rent. Yet, probably they could have secured a mortgage, diverted that rental money there, and in about 15, 20 years, they are homeowners. What do you make of this? You've told my sales line. Oh, so really? um, when I'm pitching, I, I find out, is it your first home? And for most individuals who are talking to us, um, wanting to get your first home, they are probably renting or living with a relative, their parents or a group of people coming together to get um, some sort of accommodation. Or perhaps it's the employer that's giving them the accommodation. But let's look at this this way. So you currently live in um, a three-bedroom self-compound. Your monthly rent, it's hovering around 5,000, 7,000. And I, I'm, I'm being a minimalist, so I will say cities, because from what I said, I want to talk about cities. You're be. paying rent of about 10,000 cities in, in North Lagon. Let me use North Lagon as an example. So you rent a three-bedroom self-compound at North Lagon, and you're paying monthly 10,000. What most people don't know is that for most of these um, landlords, landladies, you're not taking the rent monthly. You're taking a year advance, you're taking two years advance. You need to get a loan to pay for this rent. At the end of the year, maybe perhaps the rental period is a year or two, at the end of the period, what happens? You either have to renew or look for another property and move in. The story never ends because the property never becomes yours. Let's look at this this way. You go to a bank. The same money that you are using to pay for your rent monthly that at the end of the rental period, the property doesn't become yours. Talk to the mortgage specialist. Identify a home. Once you identify a home, what you were paying to your landlady your landlord is what you're paying to the bank as your mortgage repayment the beautiful thing is at the end of the period the house becomes yours isn't that beautiful that's beautiful absolutely so i mean it's just a total lack of understanding not having you know the knowledge that rather you paying for rent that rental money can go into the buying of a house. Absolutely. Yet still, you are in the house. Absolutely. And I, I mean, they, so sometimes it surprises me a lot why Absolutely. people are embracing Yeah, mortgage. and most of the time, you sit down with the individual and you work out your mortgage repayment for them over a period of 10, 15, 20 years. And mm -hmm. you realize that they are paying more rent 
And um, there, was, there was a question, question um, two weeks ago, I spoke to a customer, looking at the rent he was paying, he was living in a three bedroom house. But when he approached us with a five bedroom, even at a better location relative, um, he was rather going to pay lesser to us mm -hmm. than what he was paying for that small accommodation he was occupying. So it's, it's, it's the fact that we don't know, it's the fact that we don't seek help, that is why we are still renting, that is why we are no homeowners. But once you make up your mind you want to be a homeowner, find a financial institution, particularly Stambik Bank, and we will sort you out. Okay, going back to your previous submission, you mentioned first timers. And financial experts will always tell you that for a first timer who wants to own a house, it's always the best, the ideal situation, the case that um, you go for a mortgage. Do you agree to that? Um, that you, you shouldn't rather, you know, work gathering money, trying to get the funds to go on your own project. The ideal thing for you is to secure a mortgage. Very true. And I will tell you why. So I've come out of uni, I've landed my first. Most of in Ghana, when you come out of uni, it's national service. National service, some of us would like to save. Others don't have that savings culture. So we spend our money, we spend, we spend. After a year, you land a job, permanent job. Um, you know what comes to you at the end of every month and you want to save. The question is, how long will you be able to save to afford not your dream home, but your first home. Because for our dream homes, we are all dreaming big. We want to live in airport, we want to live in cantonment. But you look at after school, how much do I need to save to afford a decent accommodation? Even that, what you know is you have to save. The time of saving, are you renting? And as I said earlier on, that rent payment you're giving to your landlord can be used to get a mortgage that at the end of the period, the property becomes yours. Again, the comfort is you leave most of the left work, you need most of the work to the bank to do in terms of um, securing the land title insurance. And you know the issue with getting land title and also making sure that the, the land or the house you're buying, really the documents are right. You leave that part of the job to the bank. In the bank, we have a specialized unit, our collateral unit, who normally do the legwork with the land commission on that. So you cut yourself out of this and you are so sure that the house you're buying Everything in terms of documentation, the bank's lawyers have sorted it out. So there's a lot of benefits coming in. You don't need to wait and save a lot whilst you're paying your rent. You don't need to worry your head about the land documents and um, profession and all that because the bank will do that for you. And again, when you come to the bank, you get a lot of options. You get a wide variety of options because um, for Stambik Bank, we have a lot of options in terms of if you want to get an, um, a mortgage from us. So it's better you take a mortgage rather than waiting to save. And again, what most people don't know is the price of cement today, in fact, especially in the morning, will not be the same in the afternoon. So why wait? Talk to the bank and get a mortgage. That's interesting. Uh, you spoke about land. And um, generally, we understand mortgage is just for the purchase or the acquisition of a house. Um, is that always the case, that uh, we cannot also have a mortgage to secure land, you know, here in Ghana? That's beautiful. And I will walk you through the various options we have in Stambik Bank. So for Stambik Bank, um, the ideal that most banks like Stambik offer is the home purchase, where you have the turnkey properties, the individual comes, the property is completed and they say, I want the bank to finance this house for me. That's the very first option. The second option is mostly equity release, where you have an existing property. So you owe the property already in terms of land title, everything is secured. You come to the bank and say, I want to release equity of my existing property for cash. Ideally, we look at it and give you a percentage of it, mostly around um, 80, 90 percent of the value of the existing property. We also have the home improvements where, again, you have your existing property, you want to do renovation, you want to do expansion, 
remodeling. So there's a two bedroom, there's a three bedroom. You want to expand to a four or five. You want to do some renovation work. It's something the bank also offers. Again, there's one we call the refinance where you have your mortgage, existing mortgage with a financial institution. And for one too many reasons, you're not happy with the bank. Or perhaps you think Sunbeck's offer is way better than where your mortgage is and you want us to take over those properties. It's also an option that we offer. Currently, Stambic Bank is one of the banks partnering with the Ministry of Finance to offer the affordable home scheme. Again, that's something we also offer. There's also the vacant land financing. So obviously, it's not just a property. It is if you have seen a land and you want the bank to purchase the land for you, we can do it. The beautiful thing about it is that once you're doing the vacant land financing for you, we are sitting down with you to understand your development plans in the future. And when it's time for you to develop those lands too, we come in and support you. So the various options we offer under our mortgage package in Stambik, yeah. Thank you very much. So uh, we'll be taking a break soon. But before we take the break, let me remind you of what she said. She said, for a first time homeowner, it's ideally the best when you take a mortgage. And she gave us all the advantages to that. Also, we are still, you know, uh, taking and receiving your comments on our social media platform. That is the pyramid underscore show on Twitter. And I repeat it, the pyramid underscore show on Twitter. Let us know your mortgage concern questions and Wendy will gladly answer them. We take a break here. The show returns after this. Welcome back from the break. It's now time for your favorite part of the show, the interactive segment with Audrey Dushi Kafwi. Manuel, it's been an inter interesting conversation so far. You join our interactive segments on Twitter at the pyramid underscore show. So our question for the day is, what do you know about mortgage financing? What are your concerns? So we dive right into our social media feeds. So our first comments for the day is from Karia Jibril. And Karia is saying, is everyone allowed to get a mortgage? Or do all banks and do all banks provide mortgage financing the next comment is from axim tupac how feasible is it for the average ghanian sydney justin tahoda and he is saying the interactive the erratic nature of the ghanian interest rates and the exchange rates makes mortgage less desirable to many people mk-7 is mortgage financing in Ghana an option only reserved for the rich because of the means of qualifying for the loan? The average Ghanaian salary looks like chicken feed when it comes to securing a mortgage. <coughs> Edna Adai, what is the current mortgage rate in Ghana? So I know with this particular comment, our guest in the show would tell us if there is a rate for mortgage. Moving on to our next comment from Sir Nana. And Senana is saying, mortgage is a type of loan used to buy a property. I am worried about high interest rates, having to make a large down payment and high monthly payment. To avoid these issues, borrowers should do their research, understand the loan terms, and work with trustworthy people. So before I take, I take my last comment for the day, you can keep sending in your concerns about mortgage on Twitter at the pyramid underscore show. So Adepa is asking, why do real estate owners sell their buildings in dollars when these country uses CDs? I know right from here, most of us will be considering mortgage. I know right from here, most of us will be considering mortgage. And I per se, I'm sure by the end of the show, I might contact Wendy on securing a house. So over to you, Emmanuel. I mean, Audrey uh, is not over yet because that last bit of what you just said, taking a mortgage from Wendy, that is you being more of like, ah, you're trying to take advantage of the situation. I don't know if Wendy agrees to that, but if Wendy is agreeing to that, then myself, I'm also part of that. I'm also going to get a mortgage right after this. So thank you so much, Audrey Dushi and uh, uh, Wendy. Quite a number of interesting comments in there. Yeah. You want to pick some few ones and attend to them. Respond. 
All right. Thank you very much, Audrey and Emmanuel. So um, the first question came from um, Jibril. Jibril wanted to find out whether or who qualifies for mortgage. And I'll say mortgage, everybody qualifies for mortgage. So far as you work, so far as you're making some sort of income, you qualify for the mortgage. The question now is, how much do I qualify for as an individual? Mm -hmm. So every working Ghanaian, so for us in Stam Big Bang, our mortgage facilities, one, we do for locals and Ghanaians in the diaspora. So if you're a Ghanaian working in Ghana or you're a foreign national working in Ghana, so far as you are in some um, employment of a sort, we're able to support you to get a mortgage. Mm -hmm. Again, another leg is we supporting Ghanaians in the diaspora. So Ghanaians in the diaspora, if you are outside the shores of Ghana, we are able to support you to get a mortgage. So everybody working in Ghana, whether you're a Ghanaian or you're not, once you're in the country and you're getting the mortgage or you're getting the house in Ghana, mm -hmm. we are able to support <laughs> you. And if you're a Ghanaian and you're in the diaspora outside the shores of Ghana, we can support you to get a house that you want. The next question, if I recall, was do all banks offer mortgages? The question is no. Okay. There are just some few banks in the country that has um, units within focusing on mortgaging. So you talk to or you do your research, you get the best. And for me to be here, absolutely, I will tell you, Stambik is the best when it comes to mortgages. So just pick a phone and talk to us or walk to any of our shop floors and we will support you get a house. Um, the next question, if I recall, was um, somebody asking, mortgage is only for the rich. And this is one thing that I'm here to correct. Mortgage is not only for the rich, and I will tell you why. Okay. If I rich, if I'm rich and I have my money, why will I be talking to Wendy? Why will I be going to a bank for a mortgage? I'll use my money to buy. And the same thing, mortgages is not for the poor. So it's for anybody who has interest or who has a need to get a home, but because there's money that needs to needs to come through for you to make payments for the house what do i mean by that you are rich you have your money and we spoke about that already you have your money but you have need for that money use that money for what you need to your business person pump that money into your business come to the bank and talk to us again it's not for the rich only if you don't have the money, I don't like using the word poor, nobody is poor. If you don't have the money, go to the bank. The mistake most of us make is that I earn 2,000 Ghana City, mm -hmm. but I want to live in a house in cantonments costing 2 million Ghana City. That's the mistake. So if I earn 2,000 Ghana City, look for a house that fits your pocket. Look for a house that the repayment you can afford. So that is it. You don't need to be rich to take a mortgage. Yes, we call for some deposits and we, 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 we're very fair in terms of do the deposits we ask for. I think currently um, for most of the banks and particularly for the banks on the Ministry of Finance, governments of um, Ghana affordable scheme. That's the only scheme that we finance 100% in terms of the mortgage if the individual's salary or income qualifies them for the 100%. But for the rest, you're required to make some equity. And that's what most people have a challenge about. We require that you put down something and the bank supports you. Ideally, we are looking at a minimum 10, 15, 20% of the value of the property and the bank will support you. I think one thing that also came through was um, a high interest rate. And you agree with me that the, the country is not in a good shape now. So for most individuals who are taking mortgages with the recent um, upward adjustment of the Ghana reference rate, of which most of us price our, our mortgages around, you see that on a monthly basis, the rate keeps going up. But um, rates in generally, um, I mean, it's rates are high generally in this part of our world. And I'll say relative because I, I sit down with my other African regions colleagues and you realize that um, Ghana is even better. Rates generally are, are, are high in mm -hmm. the country, but you approach the bank. Um, a question came through or a comment came through that 
someone was saying you need to do your research i agree with that individual you need to do your research one you sit down and assess your income you sit down and assess your expenses so you receive x amount of money at the end of the month this is what goes out how much will i be able to commit towards a mortgage so that my family doesn't get impacted or my existing expense doesn't get impacted what house do i need to buy or what are my options so you need to do your research again it's important you also do your research around the finance here or the the mortgage house or the bank you're going to talk to and tell you what and as an advice i give to anybody that speaks to me about mortgages if you go online you will be able to get a lot of information you'll also be able to talk to people who've already taken facilities with banks and you get that feedback the good thing about stambakers we sit down with you we listen to you and we give you the options the good thing again is that we're just not talking the mortgage or you're just not focusing on the particular facility you've come to us on we will sit down with you to understand your financial situation your income your expenses again we want to you to know that we will walk the journey with you right from document sourcing and also perfecting documents at the land commission in making sure that that journey of owning a home it's not that cumbersome as most people believe it to be now making sure that a journey of having a home is never can be soon you can always trust us on this platform the pyramid show to bring you the the brightest minds on this subject so i'll be going on to some few messages that have been coming to me and on ghana real estate connect which is a whatsapp page uh, um the anchor pond anchor pond right and he says that for interest rates are high incomes are relatively low property prices are high and down payments usually 20 percent of property value and he's also his last submission is that in general ghana is just don't lie to repay loan. I mean, that culture of, you know. That's, 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 that's very true. I mean, in Stan Big Bank, we rent fence our loans so much that we try and avoid defaults. In any way, we get the defaults, but we, we streamlined our credit process to ensure that we don't really experience defaults as we used to in the past. Truly, interest rates are high, but the point is, um, interest rates are high, salary levels are low, and property prices are also high. But trust me, until I got into this job, even me, myself, I didn't know there are properties that are priced very low. Mm -hmm. So you need to do your research. It's not always, you can get a property the same type or similar in cantonments, <coughs> one price that 2 million, another price that 500,000. You need to do your research. Get in a house, and getting a mortgage it should not be a rush decision you take your time and trust me you always get the best now seto g from the uk and he also writes on the page he says then again uh the few Ghanaians who can afford mortgages will rather build their own houses at the quality they want at their own pace i know bogus that's people living outside uh the country who have mortgages in the uk and could afford mortgages on ghana and could afford mortgages on Ghana. However, they did rather supervise and build their houses in Ghana themselves. The many stories of our brothers and sisters in the diaspora sending money and the work that they were expecting to be done never gets done. And all the time I hear these stories, when we do our diaspora affairs outside the shores of Ghana, UK, um, Canada, America. We hear all these stories. I sent money to my brother. I came down a year later and I could not even locate a piece of land. Wow. These are the stories that come through. But as I said, it's very important you do your research and you know you're talking to the right people. But then we shouldn't be overly happy getting a house and we know that we'll not be able to pay. Let's get a house that our income supports or let's get a house that our incomes can afford. In that way, it's better. We can say, let's save up and build a house. But as I said, the price of building materials, the price mm -hmm. of cement this morning will not be the same when it's, um, I mean, tomorrow, same time. So you can wait and save up and build the house. But trust me, if you are taking a mortgage, 
five years ago, ten years ago. By now, you may have finished paying, but if you had made up your mind, you were saving to build. I, I presume you, you will continue saving and you, you will never start. Make the bold decision and take a mortgage and your housing need will be, will come to pass. Yeah. Okay. You've said a lot and it's almost about understanding what mortgage is and what we need to know once we want to secure a mortgage. But my next question is who qualifies for mortgage? But before you come to answer that, let me tell our viewers that uh, the phone lines are activated. You can call the numbers on your screen. That is um, 0302-211-691, 0302-211-691. You can call and be part of the ongoing discussion here in the studio. So like I said, who qualifies for a mortgage? Any working individual. Any working individual. So you cannot say you don't work and you want to get a house. How will you pay for the mortgage? Mm -hmm. So every working individual qualifies for a mortgage. <coughs> and as I said earlier on today, um, how much you qualify for depends on your income so i can be a taxi driver i can be a bus driver how much you qualify for it's very important so you qualify for the mortgage but how much you qualify for and how much you qualify for will determine the house you will get yes okay so any working individual that means not for just people in the former sector so for us in Stambik Bank, our mortgage facility, one, if you're a salaried worker, we can support you. If you're self-employed, we can support you. So for salaried workers, we're evaluating them per day salary. And for self-employed, we're looking at the turnover of income in the account to approve an amount for them to purchase a house. Yes. Okay. So you don't need to only be a salaried worker. You don't need to be in the formal sector. Once you are into any employment, that your income is banked and will be able to run or see what goes in and what goes out, I think we should be able to support you get a mortgage. Okay. Most often, I understand single individuals, they, you know, they struggle a bit to qualify for a mortgage. What can be done? Do you agree with what, you know, the experts also say, uh, probably at the working up place, you can team together? Like, uh, this is what we want to do. We want to go for about one acre of the land. We want to go about for two acres of land, but we just don't have the money. And securing a mortgage is just a tough thing for us to have. They come together as a team. Then, you know, they can qualify. Or probably even as a family, the auntie, the uncle, they come together just to straighten their financial report. Uh, tell us about this. Absolutely. Is it possible in the first place? It's, it's, it's very possible, and I will explain why. So the problem is not being an individual. The problem is more of affordability. So I earn X amount of money. I want to buy this particular property that is priced at this amount. Will my income afford that? So if you're unable to afford as an individual, that is where you're looking at a joint application. And in, in, in Stambik Bank, we allow for joint application. And I know for some banks, they allow for joint application. <coughs> Currently, the ideal one we look out for is joint application for spouses. So a husband and a wife coming together to get a house, we allow for that. We have done in the past for sisters and um, for, for, for a mom and a daughter. Ideally, what we look out to do is a husband and a wife. We also look at these employee schemes where we pitch with various employers and we go in to find out if the union has secured the land where the individuals have bought it so we understand it from the union's perspective from the employer's perspective mm -hmm. what is currently happening if there's a land that has been secured some for the employer had paid for it for the start some the employer had paid a part and some the employees have to pay for it so for such schemes we go and we are also able to support them we've had a lot of requests coming through where the employer Lawyer says, I want to be the borrower and I want to be doing the deduction internally. So we are granting the mortgage to the employer. Then with their own internal arrangement, they are deducting the employees at the end of the month as repayment for what the employer has taken from the bank. Okay. Yeah. As an individual, 
probably I did not qualify because of my salary, the, you know, the money I receive monthly. But I have other sources of income. How do I, you know, uh, connect these so that I qualify? That's, that's, that's something we consider as Stambik. And okay. I need to remind you and my viewers that Stambik is very flexible. So you have your regular salary coming through and you do other things. Let's take um, a teacher, for instance. Let's say a pupil teacher, for instance, who earn X amount of money. But at the end of the normal teaching time, they do extra classes for students and that brings in extra income. At the end of the day, perhaps they do some beading, they do other things that bring in money. So far as we'll be able to prove these income and how do we prove so once you're taking these monies and you're keeping them under your bed we'll not be able to but once you're banking and we know the consistency of it we know that those incomes are regular when we pull your six month statements we pull your one year statement we should be able to find a turnover of that additional income we'll be able to add it to your monthly salary that comes from your regular job, we should be able to consider that as well. Okay, so let me go on to the phone. Your name and where you call in from. My name is Emmanuel. Please, your name again and where you call in from. My name is Emmanuel. I'm calling from Osu. Oh, Emmanuel. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, thank you very much for such a, a program. I'm, I'm really enjoying the, the program. Thank you too. Um, I, 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 want, I want the lady to answer this question for me. Uh, I want specifics. Let's say I earn 5,000. How, how much can I qualify for? Let's say I earn, earn 10,000. How much do I qualify for? That, I, I, want, I want her to give me some specifics on maybe the earnings and what I qualify for, if, let's say, she can help us with that. Okay, thank you so much, Emmanuel. So let's be advised once we call, please let's lower the volume of any device uh, we are using to uh, view this program. So again, on the phone line, hello? Hello? Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Asabri. I'm please come again with your name. Asabri. Asabri, okay. Please, where are you calling from? I'm calling from home. Home, okay. Uh, hello. Please talk. We can hear you. All right. Um, thank you for this this program. It's, it's really educative. I want to ask three questions. For quick ones. Um, what salary range qualifies anybody to um, get into this? Um, and if I, I I see a house that I want to buy. Can I bring um, that up for mm -hmm. the um, for for the bank to help me get the the, the house? Okay. And then, what is the minimum or the maximum um, number of years allowable for me to um, get into the mortgage? Okay. Okay, Asabri, thank you very much. Wendy will be attending to uh, your questions very soon. So the phone lines, like I said, activated the number to call 0302-211691. 0302-211691. Hello. 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 Okay, forgive us. You can call again and be part of the show. Wendy, a um, couple of you know, questions. Questions coming in. through. Okay, so the first question from Emmanuel, he wanted to know specifics, how much he qualifies for. Emmanuel, unfortunately, I'll not be able to give you the specifics and I'll tell you why. So in order for an individual to, or the bank to tell an individual how much they qualify for, a lot of things goes into it. One, I need to look at um, how much you earn because as banks, you're mandated to approve a specific cap. So what it says is that we are not supposed to, in terms of repayment, we are not supposed to take between 45 to 50 percent of your monthly net salary. If you are a sub, um, uh, if you are um, a self-employed, when we do the turnover, your repayment should not be more than 45 to about 50 percent of your net salary. So to determine how much I we can approve for you or you qualify for as a loan, we need your your income. Again, we also need to know how old you are because for our financing tenure is a maximum of 20 years and we need 
need to know if you are a salaried worker. Um, you know mandatorily in Ghana, uh, retirement age is 60. And once you retire, your regular income, I mean, there wouldn't be any consistent income. So we need to know your remaining years to retirement to be able to calculate the tenure for you. We tie your remaining years to retirement to, to, to the facility. So you need to let us know how old you currently are and how, how long you're going to work for to be able to tell how much we qualify for you. So once we have these two information, we should be able to tell how much you qualify for. Okay, so you'll be calling her right after the show. I'm going to give you the Stambig office number that goes straight to her so that you continue the discussion right after the show. On the line is Emmanuel from Abeka. Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel. Is that George? Not Emmanuel, George, George. George, sorry. Yeah. George from Abeka. Yeah, my question is, my salary doesn't pass through a stamping bank. Is it possible? Am I qualified? Please, your question again. Yeah. Salary does not come what through I mean, a stamp bank. Yeah. Please ask your question again, George. Yeah, what I mean is, I, my salary passes through a different bank, not stamp bank. So is it possible that I can also be part of it? Okay, thank you so much. Um, Wendy, so you take uh, that of Asabre, okay. then you come to George. Okay. You can still call to be part of the show. Uh, we are receiving your calls. Today is for you. Okay, so Asabre wanted to know the salary range to qualify for a mortgage. As I said, your, sal your salary qualifies you for an amount. So if you earn a thousand, you qualify for a specific amount. If you earn two thousand, you qualify for an amount. Mm -hmm. Mind you, your salary plus your remaining years to retirement will be considered in how much you qualify for. What do I mean by that? The, the, if, if, you, if you are 24 years, obviously you have a longer time to retire. And if you, you have 10 years to retire, I mean, so once you know the age, you should be able to tell how much you qualify for. However, if, for instance, the property you're buying, it's 700,000 and your salary qualifies you for 500, ideally you are mandated to pay up the difference. So in terms of salary range, a specific salary range qualifies you for a specific amount. Again, he asks the maximum tenure. We do a maximum 20 years. So okay. 20 years. So, so it's tied to your remaining years to retirement. Hello, Yao. Hello, Yao. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Yao. Your submission. Um, I just want to say this is a very educative program. And, Thank you um, very much. I pray, that, I pray that it will continue going on to educate others. But my question is that, um, assuming I have I've got a, how they call it, a house and uh, Aga and uh, I want a mortgage from uh, how they call it, from big bank, is it possible that they will help me do that or it should be within a craft? Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wendy is going to answer that. Wendy. Okay, right. so I will take George's question. Yes. George wanted to find out if his salary doesn't come through to Stambik, can he still take a facility? George, obviously you need to let your salary come through because we are sourcing your repayments from your salary. Ideally, in Stambik Bank, we have a unit called Employee Value Banking that engages employees for banking solutions, for employers for banking solutions for their employees. If your employer is schemed or has a scheme with a bank or has a relationship with a bank and there's an arrangement for direct source deduction, that one too can be allowed. But for now, if you need a loan with us, kindly come and talk to us. We'll get you to switch your salary and we will help you. Y'all also wanted to find out, do we only finance properties in Accra? We finance properties everywhere in Ghana. Once your title is there, once the property has title, we should be able to support you. So if your property is in Paga, specifically as you mentioned, and you have title there, we should be able to support you. Okay, um, so talking about title, that means that uh, I, I, we're having you for next week, yeah, right? Sure. You, you are sure as that? Sure. Great. So yeah. on the subject of, you know, land and the documentations, I mean, the proper documentations, you need to be qualified for a mortgage. I would want to leave that 
for next week. week. Yes, I would want to leave that for next week. But let me ask this quick one. For a disqualified applicant, what are some of the corrections that they can do or she can do so that they qualify for a mortgage? Thank you, Emmanuel. So the reasons why we disqualified you for us, we will write to you, we will call you to engage you on that. And for those reasons, we will advise you on what to do. For instance, you didn't have your, uh, your, your developer had not perfected the title. We will talk to you about okay, it. Okay, yeah. thank you. You'll be talking more about that, but on the phone we have Ebenezer from Arpeja. Hello, Ebenezer. Yes, sir. Yeah. For instance, you have, this is my question. For instance, I have, I want uh, maybe, uh, I want uh, four master bedrooms, kitchen, hall, dining hall, plus one uh, toilet and bath for visitors. Uh, how much will it cost me? Or how much do I have to pay for a month? Thank you so much, Ebenezer, for calling. Um, I think you were talking about, you know, being disqualified and the corrections you have to make just Absolutely. to be qualified again. Absolutely. So the reasons why your application was rejected, the reasons why your applications are was that your application was declined, we engage you on it and we tell you what to do so that you can come back. For most of the individuals, if it's equity or the deposit you're unable to get for us, we show you what to do so that you'll be able to get. As I said, we're a financial solutions provider. Mm -hmm. We just not, we don't concentrate only on the mortgage you're taking from us. Everything financial, it's our business and we advise you accordingly. Okay. So from our flower, uh, from our flower, we have said, hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. I want to know how many, yeah, how many years will it take a mortgage? How many, how many, how many years am I going to stay in the, the, the house before they will take the house from me? Well, I know normally that a mortgage, they will give you the property for some time and then, uh, and then they, will, they will take the property back. Okay, thank you very much. But I think, Wendy, you have to attend to this one because uh, okay. uh, myself, I'm not getting... Sure, sure. I, 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 I never know I... they get to take the property back. <laughs> I, 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 I got the question, but before I jump to that, let me quickly answer. Eben wanted to know how much a four-bedroom costs. So for us in the bank, um, we do financing. The value or the cost of property sits with developers. So once you get your developer, you identify your developer, we come in to help. Um, um, the good thing is we have a list of approved developers. Our developers actually go through a process with us. To become Stambix approved developer, you go through a process. So we can also help you with the developers we have. And the price is dependent on the location and other factors. So I cannot just quote a particular amount here. So my last question is around how many years you need to pay before we take over the property. The beautiful thing about it is once you take a mortgage, you don't need to finish paying before you move in immediately you take it you're leaving in and you're paying and there's nothing like the bank will take the house back the bank will only come in and have a negotiation when you refuse to pay for you refuse to fulfill your repayment obligation so once we've advanced the money to you it's our expectation that on a monthly basis particularly if the facility is structured monthly it's the expectation that on a monthly basis you're fulfilling your obligation if it's quarterly you're expecting that on a quarterly basis you're paying us once you don't pay or once you're unable to pay we come in and have a discussion are we restructuring your facility what can we do to help you but one all these avenues fail mm -hmm. that is when we come in to say since you took a facility from us and you're unable to pay what do we do do you want us to help you sell the property and it's 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 amazing most people when they stop paying you you call them you don't reach them that is when we become a bit aggressive but in any way we are guided by law so it's not like you in your house and we come in and eject you it is a process it's a process that even in your agreement letter you know it you have read it and you sign to it. we okay. all don't anticipate a default no, but when it happens we find solution before the bank comes in to take we're not it. anticipating for that from kumasi kenneth Hello, Kenneth. 
Kenneth, talk to us. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I'm calling from a um, My question is in two foods. Um, uh, I have the land already, and I want I, I want to know if they can uh, come in and then uh, help in the building. Okay. And then second fold is I'm saving I'm currently saving in uh, GCD bank. Then my net is around three thousand. So let um, I want my 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 friend uh, tell me how, and then uh, the, the, the repayment will be like. Okay. For instance, when I take in thirty thousand, and then I want to um, use it in the building. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's our last caller for today. Wendy, uh, please answer these few questions, then uh, you wrap up as well. Okay. Thank you very much, Ken. So your first question is around you having the land and coming to us to help you develop the land. Yes, yeah, so um, what we'll be talking about, if God permits next week, will be our mortgage options, of which um, mm. um, home construction or construction finance is one of them. So as I say, you don't need to come to us and say you're buying a house. Once you have the land that you want to develop, we can help you. So all we need to do is mostly we um, appoint a developer for it, or if you have a developer, we sit down with the developer and take him through our process, they submit bill of quantities, of which we'll, we'll go into details okay. next so week. So we are going to do this next week, but I would want you to call out your number so that, you know, your office number, obviously, so that uh, for the many that couldn't get a chance to ask a question, they can do that from after the show. Thank you very much, Imano. So um, Wendy obviously works with Stambik Bank, and for Stambik Bank, we are across the length and breadth of the country. If you want to reach out to us, you can kindly walk into any of our branches across the country. You talk to the customer consultant or the business consultant you will find in our branches and you speak to them about what you want and they can link you directly to the unit. Mm -hmm. What happens is the application does just, it doesn't get fulfilled somewhere. Everywhere you touch with us, we'll be able to support you. Again, if you want to call us, you can reach us on 0302-610-690. I'll take it again. Our landline is 0302-610-690. Or, as I said earlier on, you can walk to any of the Stambik offices and you will be helped. Okay, thank you so much. Wendy Nelly Sapon of Stambik Bank, head specialized in lending, mortgage and asset finance. She promised to come, you know, say time next week. Uh, we thank you so much for being part of the show. Again, we'll be coming your way same time next week. Make sure you don't miss it. Thank you so much for being part of the show.